Mario Kart 64, the game that brought the Mario Kart series into the third dimension. To be honest, I'm not crazy about this Mario Kart, but I still enjoy it quite a bit, because it has a fun battle mode, and best of all, some really fun racetracks. Today, I'm counting down my top 5 favorite Mario Kart 64 tracks. Same rules as usual, this is only my opinion and no one else's. I'm only speaking for myself. I know this intro is really short, but does it matter? No, it really doesn't. So, let's go! Kicking off this list is Moomoo Farm from the Mushroom Cup. This track takes place on a, hence the name, farm, with a bunch of cows everywhere in the background. The only obstacles it has are some Monty Moles and the bridge near the end, which you could bump into if you aren't careful. Yeah, hence why it's in the Mushroom Cup. This is a really simple and easy track, but truth be told, that's just it. It's a nice and simple race. Some tracks are just fun when they're nice and simple. It also has some good music, and even some nostalgic value to me. I wish I could say more about this track, but I just can't. Short, sweet, and to the point, Moomoo Farm earns fifth place and I wish I could earn a time-killing epilogue. Fourth place goes to Banshee Boardwalk from the Special Cup. This track takes place on a, who would have guessed, boardwalk that leads into an abandoned building. Since it's a boardwalk, there's water under it, and some parts of the boardwalk don't have guardrails, or any sort of boundary for that matter, meaning that if you aren't careful, you could fall in the water. You gotta be an idiot to fall off the course. Maybe, but the road is pretty narrow, so it actually can be really hard to stay on course. In addition to that obstacle, there are also some swoopers that'll fly your way once you're in the building. This is quite a challenging track, hence why it's in the Special Cup. It also has a spooky vibe and music, which I can't help but love. With all that, Banshee Boardwalk is easily fourth place. What Banshee is this track named after exactly? Coming in at third place is Sherbet Land from the Star Cup. This track takes place in a winter wonderland with ice everywhere, and you know what that means, lack of traction, and therefore hard turning. In addition to that obstacle, there are also a bunch of sliding penguins and steep drops into water. Freezing water. With these, this track is quite a good challenge. I also like it because avoiding the penguins is quite a rush, and the scenery and music are very nice. I also have an affinity for snow and ice tracks in Mario Kart, therefore, Sherbet Land is easily the winner of third place. Why is this track named after a dessert? Sure, ice and sherbet are both cold, but... <laughs> Running up is Bowser's Castle from the Star Cup. You know how Bowser Castles go in Mario Kart, right? Racers race inside... well, isn't it obvious? There are usually obstacles such as thwomps, mechanical Bowsers that shoot fire at racers, steep drops into lava, sharp turns, etc. But this Bowser's Castle isn't quite that simple. Or at least, the thwomps aren't. They're not like thwomps from other tracks that just stay in one place and smash into the ground at regular intervals. The ones in this track move around all over the place, making it harder for racers to avoid them. This track is quite a good challenge, what with all the obstacles, hence why it's the last track in the Star Cup, and the scenery and music are also epic, and very fitting for a Bowser's Castle. For all said reasons, Bowser's Castle is definitely my second favorite track. Time to drive through some honorable mentions. 10th place is DK's Jungle Parkway from the Special Cup. Racers race in Donkey Kong's Jungle Parkway, with the only real obstacles being sharp turns. But despite how simplistic it is, it's still quite challenging, and that's the main reason why I like it. The huge jump at the beginning is also pretty fun. 9th place is Koopa Troopa Beach from the Mushroom Cup. Racers race on a, duh, beach, with the main obstacles being sidesteppers. Although quite on the easy side, I like this one because of all the ramps, the fun shortcut, and the nice music. 8th place is Mario Raceway from the Flower Cup. This one takes place in a grassy field, with no real obstacles. This track is honestly too easy to be the last in the Flower Cup, but I like it because it's just nice and simple, with some nice scenery and music. Driving inside the pipe is also pretty fun. 7th place is Chaco Mountain from the Flower Cup. 
again. This one takes place on a, I assume, chocolatey mountain and has quite a few obstacles, like sharp turns and boulders that could knock you into water. This track is only somewhat challenging, but I just find it fun to race on. I don't really know why, I just do. Music's pretty good too. FYI, you're listening to it right now. Last but not least, sixth place is Frappe Snowland from, once again, the Flower Cup. Taking place in a winter wonderland, this track has one main obstacle, snowmen. There's a lot of them scattered throughout the track, and with all the snow on the ground, it can sometimes be hard to avoid them due to lack of traction. Weaving around all the snowmen is pretty fun, and even quite a rush, too. It also has nice music. Still don't get the dessert name, though. Number one is none other than Royal Raceway from the Star Cup. This track seems to take place in a park, with the obstacles being some piranha plants and maybe a few sharp turns here and there. Sorry, that's it. This track is relatively easy, maybe even too much for the Star Cup, but I love it mainly for more superficial reasons. The music is really nice, the scenery is pretty nice, the huge ramp near the end is really fun, and best of all, you can drive up to the courtyard of Peach's Castle from Mario 64. That was a really clever touch to add. While doing this will more than likely make you lose, it's still really fun to do when you're just messing around. It also has a lot of nostalgic value to me. I really wish I could say more about this awesome track, but I just can't. It's nice and simple, yet has a lot of great things about it. Short, sweet, and to the point, Royal Raceway is easily my number one favorite Mario Kart 64 track of all time. I could really use a time-killing epilogue right now. If you got one, you better give it to me right now, or I'll come find you. So there you have it, my top 5 favorite Mario Kart 64 tracks of all time. For more videos like this, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please check out my social media, all links are in the description. 64 thank yous for watching, see you next time. Mikoro Glyscore 472 out.